guys, as you've just seen, we've been up for a while. We're dressed and ready for our day. We are headed back to the horse barn tomorrow. Ooh, I'm so excited. What are you doing? Well, guess what? What? Okay, so I'm riding my Mustang for like the first time ever in like a long time. Did that's her Mustang on Star Stable. Whoa, look at that thing kick. Well, you're awesome at staying buck. <clears throat> um, I just helped a witch pie the witch. I'm unlocking the circus and I'm only level 13. Wow, what level are you? After I get a lock. Cool. Eight, you've been at eight for a year. Yeah. Sophie's wearing a new shirt that she got the other day that we didn't do in our fashion okay. show. It's a Shopkin shirt. Is it a Shopkin shirt? What's it say? Food is life. <laughs> food is life? That's her! She, yeah, she picked that shirt herself and food is life for her. She's the only one of my kids that's ever loved food the uh -oh. way she loves food. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, uh, Sophie loves food, yeah. she admits that she loves food, and she loves everything about it, and maybe God has planned for her to be a chef. Or maybe has, maybe God has planned something amazing for her that she has to do with food. food. Yeah, maybe you will save the world from all the bad food stuff if that's happening. If I was a chef, then I'd be taste testing everything. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what would happen. Anyway, like I said, we are headed back to the barn tomorrow, and this girl is super excited. I am ready to get back on that horse. And I know the girls are excited too. But in the meantime, today is going to be my favorite day of the week. Sometimes when you do daily vlogs, you feel like you always have to be doing stuff all the time. I never feel like that because we are always doing kind of something every day. Anyway, I don't feel like that at all, but today is the day I feel like we're just gonna rest and relax. Usually, I do all my cleaning on Sundays and I've already done it. And I have a book that I've been dying to read, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Sometimes I feel like you just have to take time out and do stuff that you really enjoy. And staying at home is something that we really enjoy. What do you want to do today? Oh, uh, yes, that's so. Horse barn. You want to go to the horse barn? It's closed. I do horse barns get closed. Well, even the horses need a rest. Gabby, what do you want to do today? Play us to sew all day and not go anywhere. Yeah. They've been asking me and asking me and asking me, can we just stay home and stay in our pajamas? And I'm like, yes, on Sunday, well, you guys can stay home. <gasps> Ziggy! Sunday, you can Ziggy! just stay home. Where's Ziggy? Ziggy. Oh, look, you guys, it's a Ziggy. My Ziggy's But there's cuter. ones that are more black. I've been working this whole entire day. It is now, I don't even know what time it is, after three o'clock. I have been cleaning my room. I rearranged my room around. In the summer, we always put our bed on this wall because we need to put the air conditioning in that window. But you know that the summer is over when we're able to take the air conditioning out of that window and move our bed back there. It's one of my favorite things to do. Anyway, I did that. I cut the grass, I cut the grass outside. Sam took all the air conditionings out. It's been a great day getting stuff done. But the girls literally have been sitting like this this entire time since I vlogged last. <clears throat> Sophie's watching videos. Gabby is still playing Star Stables. I did a champ. You did a champ? Yeah. And a I live stream? Like, no, I was in a live stream. And isn't your bum sore? No. I went up like times to You've been going pee. You've been getting food. Their bums are not getting sore. Anyway, Sam and I are headed out to the store to get some stuff. And guess what? We're staying here. And the girls do not want to even go. They're going to stay here with I their brother. I'm not one to let the girls stay on the computer for an entire day. I don't think it's good for them, but I also agree that they never get to just have a day of rest. We're always on the go all the time. And I promised them yesterday you guys can stay home and do whatever you want on Sunday. It's your day. I'm getting super excited for Christmas shopping and everything to do with Christmas. I found a book when I was cleaning my room today that I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. It's super cool, but it's where I leave, make all my lists of everything that I wanna get the girls. And like I said, I want this to be like a super horsey Christmas. Oh, this makes me so sad. Look, Sam. I think I should buy him and put him on the fireplace mantle so I always remember Bailey Bird. People keep asking us 
how many schleich do you have? How many schleich do we have? We never ever put them all together and count them. We've been collecting just since Christmas last year, so almost a year, and we started out with four. And then this is how many we have. This is how many we have, did you guys count? These are all of our schleich, but there's one missing, it's upstairs, so let's count them. This is our little tiny schleich collection. Counted the one upstairs. One did you? Yeah, I counted the full all together. All the fools? Yep, I counted all the fools. Look, fulls. they're falling off. They're falling down. Some of these are really nice looking horses, though. Some are huge, and then some are just so little. So little. How many do we have? I don't know. 40. 46. 40. 46. 48. 48. 48. <laughs> 48. We have 48 schleich. How many do you think we're going to have after Christmas? A million. No, not a million, but a lot. Like 50. Yeah, we... Like 50. How many do you want to have? How many like do you want to have? 10 million. Yeah. Guys, watch me knock them all down. Oh, wait, wait, stop. You can never have enough like. Wait, wait, and they're dominoes. So... Oh, that would be fun. Dominoes. They're all falling that way. <laughs> they're already all falling that way. <laughs> okay, let me do mine. Let me eat. Toby's like, what's happening over there? Oh. What's happening? Guys, anyway. Really. Yeah, she's new, right? Yeah. We are going to take our little puppies for a walk. Hey. These, these are the kind of things that we do in the yeah. fall. We hardly ever uh, go for long walks or do anything fun like that in the summer because it's too hot, but the weather is perfect today. Before we go, we're going to do a comment of the day. We forgot yesterday. Anyway, comment of the day goes to Star Stable Online 260, and she asks, why did you not do your normal intro? Well, actually, I'm really glad you asked that, and I almost forgot to um, address that. But basically, a lot of people are saying intros are so long and so annoying, and people don't really want to watch them, and it's probably better if we don't have them. So we love our intro, and I think we need an intro, but we're going to work on a new intro, one that's really short and one that's... Um, to the point so that you guys don't have to watch our big long intro every single time. Comment below if you like it better with the intro or if you like it better without the intro. Just just for curiosity's sake, because we're curious. All right, so we're out walking and we came across one of our neighbors who has cut their grass lately. And look, so there's the cut grass. Here's the not cut grass. Look at how our dogs look <laughs> when they're running through the grass. It just hasn't been cut. She's his ear. Just tell me. <laughs> she has to hop through it. One thing people always say about our dogs when they see them is, wow, I thought my dog was small until I saw your dogs. Even a cookie at five probably. pounds is smaller than your average dog. So imagine Toby at two pounds. All right, so do you guys notice anything different about Toby that just now? Can you see what's different about him? I went upstairs to go pee before we left, and I came downstairs, and Toby's a beautiful black studded collar that I got for him is missing and now he's wearing a green it's collar. It's on the ottoman. I think you have green on your brain. She wants to turn Ziggy into a green colored No, cause like stuff. that collar doesn't fit Macy or Cookie <laughs> anymore. And so um, it fits Toby perfectly. It looks too oh, loose, please, but when you do. try sure, to sure. it She's... over his head, like it won't go over his head. Okay, Gabby's got Perfect green on the form. brain, I'm telling you. The other thing that people say when they see our dogs is they comment on how well behaved they are and how trained they are. And it's true, our chihuahuas are the nicest chihuahuas you would ever see. People have a preconceived idea about chihuahuas because they often have like a spoiled... Look at the cat! Yeah, they've often been spoiled and they have terrible behavior and they have small dog syndrome but our chihuahuas are literally the nicest chihuahuas you could ever meet and they're great for kids look at toby he looks so happy yep Another thing about our dogs is that whenever we go out walking we all have our own dogs and then before the end of the walk this happens somebody steals my dog um, when we got Cookie, she was a rescue. We rescued her. She was pregnant and she was about to have babies and we rescued her. And I was never my intention to keep her. It was always my intention to find her a loving, amazing home. 
Sophia at the time was only one and a half years old and fell in love with Cookie and she would never let her go. By the time Cookie's puppies were ready to go, Sophie was so attached to her that I could never separate them. And I kept saying to her, are you sure you want to keep this dog? Because she could hardly carry her. And I said, I'll find you something really tiny that you might like, another rescue. And she's like, no, I'm keeping her. Remember that, Soph? Do you remember that? And I named Cookie Doll. Yeah, you named her. Her name's a Cookie Doll. And so, ever since I've gotten Toby, Sophie is like me. She's in love with little tiny dogs, and she just I loves- I like Cookie. She does, she loves Cookie, and she would never trade her, but she likes the ease of having a tiny little thing that you hardly even have to carry, huh? And now he walks so good on a leash. He even walks without the ladies. The trick is to drag them around when they're puppies. That's what I did with Macy. She was did. Like two at the time. Yeah, when I got Macy, Gabby was almost two years old. No, Gabby was one and a half years old when I got Macy. And literally, she would not let me train the dog. She would not let me touch her. She would not let me have her. She kept her to herself all the time. And so Gabby pretty much taught Macy how to walk on a leash. Gabby pretty much taught Macy how to do everything. <laughs> okay, you guys. Wait. Can't even see me. I can't, I can't even see. Get Just hurry up and Wait, edit. Get your head off. <laughs> okay, sit here beside me. Yes. <laughs> sit here beside me. You fall in slow mo. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that slow -mo. we're gonna end today's video. We are almost home. We are gonna put these dogs to bed, and the girls are gonna have a bath. And it's, no. early, and it's early. No, I'm gonna level oh, up my SSO character. Oh, she's been addicted Haley to that Eagle game. Daughter. What's your name? What's your SSO name? Haley Eagle Daughter. What's your SSO name? Juliet Bunnyfall. Juliet Bunnyfall. Anyway, you guys. And Haley it. Eagle Daughter. That's it for tomorrow. Remember to stay oh, tuned for tomorrow's video because we will be at the barn. <gasps> Yay! I get to ride someone. I get to ride someone. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.